we'd like to welcome Elder David A. Bednar, who is our first assigned church speaker to the BYU Pathway Worldwide Devotionals. Welcome, Elder Bednar. Thank you very much. In our pre-reading assignments, you asked us to read some scriptural references, one of them around Nephi and looking at his father's uh, dream, and one about Joseph Smith seeking more knowledge. Tell us what you were hoping we would see and think about as we prepared those scriptures. If I had the wish of my heart, every person uh, involved in Pathway would have burned into his or her brain the statement, I have learned for myself. This is what Joseph said when he returned from the sacred grove. His mother's in, this, in their home. She notices something has happened. And he says, Mother, I'm well enough off. I have learned for myself. You see that exact same pattern with Nephi. He believed his father's vision, but because he believed his father's vision, he had a desire to see and know for himself. So we find that same pattern in both Nephi and Joseph Smith of desiring and seeking to learn for themselves. You know, we have, we have students all over the church uh, participating in this. And many of the BYU Pathway students will look at this and say, you know, I don't know if I can do this. This is really hard. I, I, I don't know if I have the abilities to finish my education and other responsibilities. How would these principles apply to that type of a student? I think all of us have those reservations. We've all thought, I, I don't have what it takes to do this. You do not have to do this alone. You don't learn alone. The Holy Ghost is a teacher. He's a comforter, but he brings all things to our remembrance. So if we put forth the effort to input whatever the subject matter, not just spiritual things, chemistry, algebra, English, learning a foreign language, we are assisted by the power of the Holy Ghost. That doesn't minimize the amount of work we have to do, but it provides hope that we have assistance beyond our own. That's great. You know, many students are really busy, and not only do they doubt they can complete it, but life kind of gets in the way. Um, how would this principle, what can we learn from this that would help students who say, oh, I've got so many other responsibilities. What does knowing, of my, knowing it for myself mean in this kind of a setting? Yeah, I would suggest that's probably only going to get worse. <laughs> if there's no time now, I don't think you're going to find a lot of time yeah. in the future. And my experience is, and the experience I've seen in the lives of so many people, is that as we honor our covenants and keep the commandments, our capacity is enlarged. Do you remember when you were in high school and you were a sophomore and you thought, oh, gee, it was so easy to be a freshman. <laughs> and then when you're a junior, you look back, you say, what was I thinking? Sophomore life was simple. Our capacity is enlarged and that great blessing is available to every single covenant keeping member of this church. Many of our students, Elder Bednar, are mothers. And they say, well, I know education is important, but if I just teach my children that it's important, they'll do it. But I'm already a mother, I'm already busy. Why do you think it's important that they continue their education, even when they already maybe are focused on being a parent and a mother? Uh, you and I are both parents. I'm a grandpa. <laughs> And the truth of the matter is children do what they see us do. They do relatively little of what we tell them to do. Yeah. So for a child to see a mother engaging in this pattern of learning, uh, that's the most powerful example that could ever be. Far more impactful than just simply admonishing and saying, here's what you yeah. need to do. Great. As you talk to the students from all across the world, any closing thoughts that you would share with us that, you know, admonitions or encouragement that you'd like to share with the students who are going through the program? Yeah, I think the key to learning is learning how to learn. The issue is not learning a formula in mathematics or memorizing a series of concepts from an economics book or something else. For me, the value of education is figuring out what to do when you don't know what to do. 
That's what education provides. You can go to books, you can go to Google, you can go to all kinds of reference materials. But what do you do when there's no answer in the books? Everybody thinks Google knows everything, it doesn't. <laughs> what do you do when you don't know? That's what learning does, it equips you. This is fun, this is engaging, this is at the heart of the gospel, learning, growing, progressing. So I would invite all of these young people to seek for the assistance of the Holy Ghost so they can learn how to learn and learn to love learning. Well, it's an honor to have you with us. This is a powerful message. Uh, we appreciate your care for, uh, for our students and, and the teaching you've shared with us. Um, we, this has been a wonderful thought and we look forward to hearing how the students engage and take this into their own lives. So thank you very much. You're very welcome. And the final thing I want to say to every single one of these students is how much I love you and how much all of the brethren love you. We commend you for the efforts that you're expending and the things that you're trying to do and to accomplish. And I promise that the Lord will assist you as you do your very best. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to expend the effort and do your best Keep the commandments and honor your covenants, and you will have help. Thank you. Thank you.